Yes, indeed, America, it's true. We have an extra story for you. This one's big. It's big as it's big as New York, because it is New York. Yes, indeed, America, it's true. After years of half-stepping, after years of not ponying up, after years of wearing blinders, the size of Boeing 777s. The New York City Council, the mayor, and top prosecutors in the city of New York, all five boroughs, have seemed to find some common sense. Yes, indeed, America, it is true. After a lot of remarkable studies have come out that have shown that marijuana arrests in the city of New York have predominantly been black and brown people, the city has decided to make a change. It's about time. It's about time. I wish we had confetti here at the Fowler Show. I would toss confetti at the camera. Right? So the plan is still unwritten. Um, and it's under negotiations. Will, ra will rise and fall on the type of conduct involved involving marijuana that officially decides should still warrant arrest or prosecution. The change appears likely to create a patchwork of prosecution policies across the city's five boroughs and are unlikely to restrict police officers from stopping and searching people to, uh, on suspicion of possession of drugs that are now legal in a number of states. But with the city now conceding a wide racial gap in arrest and with the police department's rationale for the gap collapsing under scrutiny, the plan represents a striking shift that could lead in some parts of the city to people generally facing no criminal penalties for smoking that good old herb. Mayor Bill de Blasio, in a press conference here in our nation's capital, suggested less than 30 days there will be a policy to end the unnecessary arrest of those with possession of marijuana. The Manhattan District Attorney, Mr. Vince Jr., has already, his, his already stopped prosecuting marijuana possessions and smoking arrests this summer. And he gave the police department until then to make a case for still charging limited categories of people. He isn't alone. The Brooklyn District Attorney, Eric Gonzalez, said that over the last three months, his office has doubled the number of marijuana smoking cases it has stopped prosecuting, and it now plans to start throwing out more cases after the police department weighs in. And they aren't alone. And the police commissioner, James P. O'Neill, said that he would convene a working group to review marijuana enforcement tactics and concedes. Now, this is the big part. This is the big news story for you. This is the big one. This is the whopper, America, because this goes against the theory of broken windows. Listen, if whatever you're doing, stop what you're doing right now and hear me out because I want to read this to you again. Let me put my glasses back on so I read it perfectly. The police commissioner, James P. Owens, said he would convene a working group to review marijuana enforcement tactics, big news right here, and concedes that at least some arrests have no impact on public safety. And he concedes that some marijuana possession and smoking arrest have absolutely, positively, no impact on public safety. This goes against the arguments that we have heard about smoking weed and the legalization of weed for the past four decades, five decades, is that, oh, Weed and possession of marijuana presents a risk to pub the public safety of the citizens in a community. The, may, the, the police chief of the largest city in the world, one of the largest police forces in the world, has conceded this thing, that there is no, that majority of the arrest have no impact on public safety. Meaning when you lock people up for having a dying bag, or you lock people up for having a roach, or you lock people up for having a, a joint in their pocket, and you bring them to jail and you haul them in and you, 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 you put a felony on their record, it does nothing to make the public safer. You are just literally spending taxpayer dollars, creating, uh, creating 
more felons in the system, making their life harder, and just being a public nuisance. The police department is being a public nuisance to the people. Is what he's conceding here. That's the big news out of this story. That's what's big out of this New York story. The changes are huge and the changes are welcomed. But the big news here is this. There are many people, there are many campaigns across this country that are trying to legalize marijuana that will use the quote from the police commissioner of New York City that says in many of the arrests, there is no impact on public safety. Because if there's no impact in New York, that means there's no impact in Chicago. That means there's no impact in Baltimore. That means there's no impact in Detroit. That means there's no impact in Houston. No impact in Austin. No impact in Miami. No impact in Fort Lauderdale. No impact in Denver where it's already legalized. No impact in Las Vegas are legalized there too. No impact in Los Angeles are legalized there. No impact in DC is legalized here. No impact on public safety. That is the big news in this story. So New York, by August 1st, will change its policy. And this comes after years of people calling New York's card. The New York Times did an investigation into New York and its weed arrest and shows that black people were arrested on low-level marijuana charges eight times the rate of white people over the last three years. And that among neighborhoods where people call, where people, People called to complain about marijuana at the same rate, the police almost always made arrests at a significant higher rate in areas where there were more black residents. Meaning, if you are living on 47th and Broadway and you call the police because you smell weed smoke in your building, those white boys or white girls will likely not get arrested. But if you're living at, I don't know, 135th and Broadway and you call the police, those black men or women will likely get arrested. That is what that statistic says. America, it, we should have legalized weed a long time ago. But we're getting there slowly but surely.